We catch up with one of the former stars of The Office, but find out why some people aren't seeing his funny side. And shock news about Kanye West. Don't go anywhere as it's all in the showbiz hot five. So let's get the ball rolling. The celebs have made their feelings pretty clear about Andrew Lloyd Webber's new talent show. It seems they do anything to get rid of those Nancys. First, Kevin Spacey had a go at the search to find stars for the musical Oliver, and now Danny Dyer's been at it. But host Graham Norton has one word for him, uh, bothered? Well, I don't know who Danny Dyer is, but there may be a clue in his name, I don't know. In at four, Mel B's hardly been seen out of her bikini in recent weeks. Well, prepare to feast your eyes on a whole lot more of her enviable body. She's helping to spice things up at lingerie label Ultimo. The singer's replacing Girls Aloud star Sarah Harding as their new spokesmodel. Hmm, I wonder how Sarah's feeling. You know what's next? It's three. Looks like Gordon Ramsay's got a kitchen nightmare of his own. He's being sued for £9 million by a man who featured on the US edition of the show. Martin Hyde reckons the programme was edited to make him look lazy and claims it ruined his career. Mm, bet Gordon's got a few words to say about that. Yep, all beginning with F. At two, calling all hip-hop heads. No, no, not you, just the female ones. Kanye West is back on the market. It's reported the US chart topper has split with his fiancée, Alexis Pfeiffer. They've dated on and off since 2002, but she's told a tabloid in the States that it's sad, but they're now just friends. Which brings me to my top story at one. Now this is my oyster card. Mackenzie Crook had better think twice about using his as he's well and truly in London Transport's bad books. It's all down to his new film, Three and Out. In it, he plays a tube worker looking for a volunteer to jump under his tracks so he can get a big payout. While there were small protests at the Leicester Square premiere as a result, but the one-time office star reckons they've got the wrong end of the stick. We're not dwelling on, on those sorts of sensitive issues um, and that sort of movie that did dwell on suicide people jumping on trains isn't something that I want to be involved in. You're not getting off that easy though Mr Crook as he's also offended them by saying it took just 10 minutes to learn their job. Time to take the foot out of the mouth. That's your lot for now but I'll be back with more later. Oh.